So I was going to call this uh, YouTube channel the Viking Bushcrafter, but then I realized that I'm going to spend a lot of time out on the sea because I love sailing and I love just spending time in my boat. And now it's almost the middle of March and I've decided that uh, uh, it's time to uh, start the sailing season. We still have some snow. But I think we'll just call that um, white morning mist or something like that. You can see some, ah, it's not much snow left now. It will be gone in just a few days. And uh, the weather is really nice. And it's, to me, this is summer. I'm starting the summer season earlier each year. Behind me is my little sailing boat. I do a lot of writing in my boat and I spend a lot of time there. Let's take a look. Yeah well so I'm holding my cell phone in my hand now because I don't want to drop it uh, on that uh, selfie stick it can come loose and I broke my cell phone in the uh, in the sea. So <clears throat> this is my boat. Um, doesn't look like much right now, but I will uh, tidy up everything, and uh, I'll show you that it's uh, really cozy. It's really cozy in my boat. No, actually, I'm just waiting for my son to finish uh, school, and we'll. Uh, I promised him this morning that we would go sailing, so uh, I'll just have to wait for about one hour, and uh, I'll pick him up, and we, we will go sailing. Actually, where I'm sitting now, I've written one and a half novel right here on this table. I don't know why, but. When I'm in my boat, I feel always inspired and uh, I feel disconnected from the, from the world, whatever is going on in my life and if, if I have some kind of difficulty, a problem of some kind, those problems always seem smaller when I'm here in my boat. When you're dealing with these problems in your daily life, they grow and they seem bigger and more important than they really are. But when you disconnect from uh, your daily life, you uh, kind of connect with nature, you connect with the sea. If you're out walking, hiking in the woods, you connect with the woods. If you're out in hiking in the mountains, you connect with the mountains. And uh, this is not something that I'm just saying. I truly believe that's how it works. When I'm out sailing, I get a more, a better perspective on things. I don't know if that made any sense. I hope so. Anyway, we will go sailing. I will pick up my son from school. I promised him that we would go sailing uh, after school and um, that will be the first sailing trip of uh, 2016 actually. So finally, I waited for this a long time, many months during the winter and finally out on the sea again. So uh, I'm on autopilot now. I'm standing in the cockpit and uh, not much wind today. Let's take a look at the autopilot. <clears throat> Actually the autopilot is always on and uh, I prefer to do other things when I'm out sailing. So uh, I love my little autopilot. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. I do have some difficulties with the engine, which is not uncommon. Uh, the first time out after winter, I think there is some. Uh, I need to put on my scuba diving equipment and uh, take a look underneath the boat. We'll see. Um, and this is actually behind me now. <coughs> it's the we call it the Troll Island. That's not its real name, but my kids. I told my kids once that there are trolls living on that island. <laughs> and this behind me now. See, yeah, it's uh, the Oslo Fjord behind me. And um, yeah, you have uh, actually if I turned like 90 degrees now and uh, sailed out in the Oslo Fjord, I would be able to continue straight out in the North Sea. <laughs> 